welcome back to the channel guys so today let's have a look at the fender pugilist distortion i was looking for a good distortion pedal for my uh, pedal board because i have overdrives and i have a lot of fuzz pedals so i didn't have anything in between so i was searching for a good one this is on loan so i'm just trying it out and out of the ones i tried i really like this one and i might be picking this one up this is on loan by the way before we start um none of the gear that we showcase on the channel is sponsored or anything of that sort these are all honest reviews of the gear that i own i try and it's an independent opinion so if you like that please support us by hitting that subscribe button now for the pedal itself there are three things which i really love about this pedal and there are two things which i'm really not a fan of so let's get on to it one by one the tones phenomenal tones so this pedal is actually two distortion pedals built together in a single unit one side feels it's in between a clone centaur and a blues breaker wherein there's a lot of clarity which is uh, which is there and i think i haven't had a look at the you know circuit but it looks like uh, the clean signal and the clip signal are moving parallelly into your op amp or something of that sort so one side is very clown blues breaker kind of a circuit and the other side is more like a governor or a rat in a very you know low gain setting so it's it's a beautiful combination and the best part is you get the option to put it in series as if one pedal going you know it's stacking basically gain staging or you can blend it where both the pedals are actually moving parallelly I tried in various positions, so I'm gonna put some screenshots for you. So my favorite setting is actually one of my favorite settings. Actually, keeping it in the series, wherein I keep the gain low on one side, as if it's like a clown center, where you're using it as a boost or edge or breakup kind of a thing, and the other side driving the way you want, or blending the two tones to achieve the tone that you want. To be very frank with you, of the various settings that I did. If you get the settings right, it goes from all the way, um, you know, from sounding like a tweed which is cranked up to a Marshall which is cranked down. So anything in between. So it's it's beautiful. The tones are amazing. Second is the build quality. I think Fender has done a phenomenal job. It's an all metal body. There's some clever designs here where the battery compartment opens up like this. The LED lights look amazing in the night. I'm gonna you know, shoot a video and then put it for you to see. You can switch the LED on and off, and the build quality feels sturdy and takes standard. You know, takes a standard nine volts power supply, and it's a weirdly 0.84 ma. So I've been running it on 100 ma, and it's working fine. So that's the build quality. Third is the price point. It's real value for money. It's not an expensive pedal, and if you're a beginner or or you're looking for a versatile distortion pedal for your pedal board, I think this really cuts it. So I've been checking out quite a few pedals. I'm not posting any bad reviews, but you no, know, out of the good ones, I really like this one. Things I don't like about this pedal. Number one, they could have given me two foot switches where you can actually turn each side on and off um, based on how you want it. Um, maybe like a King of Tones or any other dual distortion. But I think Fender has addressed that there is a new version of this pedal which has two foot switches. This one has one. Second and the most important part. This is a pure analog circuit designed to overload tube preamps or at least solid state preamps so to achieve the effect. So I tried this in multiple scenarios including in front of a clean tube amp, in front of a not so clean tube amp and in front of a dirty tube amp. In all scenarios this pedal worked great. I put this in front of a modeling amp, which is my Blackstar uh, ID core. It was half decent. It got the job done. It's a good pedal. It sounded good there also. 
but the moment I plugged it in front of my HX stomp, it started sounding fizzy and lifeless. Because there is, I think there's no physical preamp that the pedal can overload, and it was really not sounding the best. And the moment I plugged this in front of an amp simulator, it, it didn't. It really didn't sound like the way it sounded in any of the other scenarios. So a word of caution: if you're picking this pedal up for uh, your pedal board, which is going into some kind of an amp modeler, whereby you're going direct, like maybe it's a Helix or Netex Stomp or or um, an Ampero, Kemper, whatever it may be, you might be in for a bad surprise. And amp simulators is a no. And if you like these reviews, uh, please support the channel by hitting that subscribe button and the like button. I really appreciate it.